Hi, I'm Adrian and I will show you how to make uh, a fragmented character which is animated and skinned and also we will discuss about a method to make that uh, fragmentation uh, on a uh, to have a clean mesh so you will not see the fragments in our, our artifacts ok, so um, for this uh, example I will use a model downloaded from TurboSquid uh, a free model um, that you can get from here uh, also it has uh, some animation, bipped animation inside after you will download it you will have this arch uh, archive zip archive and uh, okay let's add it to our scene okay now let's delete what we don't need don't need hair in this example eyes one thing to, to know uh, when you uh, will be doing a vol uh, volume breaker when you add uh, the volume breaker uh, modifier is that your mesh uh, uh, will need to not have any holes in it so for this uh, we'll use a cap, we'll cap the holes uh, but before this we need to freeze the transformation so we'll not get some weird results in animation and the finger particles will uh, use the geometry so to do this uh, we'll uh, hold ALT and right click when the model is selected and uh, we'll freeze the transform yes also we'll freeze the rotation then uh, I'll remove the turbo smooth and morpher so you see that she each has an editable body and editable mesh the mesh is showing after the editable mesh so, so we'll convert it to editable body uh, then we'll go to uh, utilities sorry mm, if I d I'm not reading correctly uh, then we'll go to uh, then we'll press the reset x form ok reset selected after that we need to collapse the modifier stack because it will add an X4 modifier convert to editable poly ok, now we see that the normals are inverted so we'll select all, all the polygons and uh, Ctrl A to select all and uh, press flip ok, so we now see the mesh uh, also I'll switch to shading shaded uh, viewport because I don't like the and I don't need the realistic now uh, now we need to cut the holes so let's press Ctrl A to select the eyes and uh, press cap ok also let's delete the <coughs> like so okay so we are ready to start now let's uh, add a skin modifier uh, 
uh, you'll need to reskin uh, the character but uh, in this example it will work pretty well so we'll add the bones okay now let's add some animation to the bipid by selecting one part of the bipid go, go into motion panel here and uh, open what file okay so uh, it has some animations I will use the bullet one okay now you can see the animation this skin is not so good but Okay, let's improve it a little bit, just to have this part a little better. the volume breaker modifier so uh, first before adding the volume breaker uh, save the scene and make sure you don't have any holes because it will stuck we will make the 3 ds max uh, hang and uh, okay let's do this Set edge, edge to face it, so we can see what happens. Uh, we need to increase the density. Uh, I'm not, I'll not talk about the volume breaker here because there are many tutorials on internet, on YouTube, also uh, documentation about each settings and what it can do. So uh, let's increase the density here. Also decrease the raster uh, size. You, you start to see some fragments. Okay, let's increase a little more. Okay, so let's increase this. A uh, don't go too low with raster because it will uh, calculate too much. It will take more time to make the calculation. this uh, should be enough for this example uh, also if you want to do something like Tron the reset uh, fragmentation uh, you can use the um, bricks uh, the bricks options because it will make uh, coops frag fragments Okay, 
can see the actually in this case I'll use the these options because it's more chaotical and we don't need so much uh, fragments to uh, to see something interesting because with um, with bricks uh, you have to have many uh, fragments to see to have a normal shaped fragment like a cu cube okay uh, the next step is to put the volume breaker um, under the skin this is important to add the skin first uh, because uh, okay it's not I don't think it's uh, it might not not be so important but uh, anyway do I'm doing in this order so you may want to do it uh, true so because skin is not uh, saving the uh, wages of the vertices in uh, in memory but it will recalculate based on the envelopes uh, this method will work uh, because the uh, volume breaker will have some vertices will generate some vertices inside the mesh uh, and the envelopes automatically will pick them uh, with physics um, sorry I don't uh, know how to read it correctly physic modifier uh, it may not wor work also on skin modifier uh, it may not work if uh, you will uh, select the, uh, will you will set the wages uh, manually by selecting vertices and uh, typing in values and so okay so we need to keep it proce procedural and okay let's put it below okay the next uh, step is to create the um, you can see the animation is still good uh, is to create the thingy particles from the properties uh, I'll create two groups one group will be the base mesh and one will be fragments so First, uh, we'll create a, a dynamic set, and uh, in first dynamic set, we'll uh, convert the the uh, our animated animated mesh to particle uh, generator object to particle. Let's pick it. Set the set it to base mesh group instant shape and hide. Also, let's set the object to particle tracking and hide. Um, let's go to the master dynamic and uh, set the show mesh so you can see the mesh and viewport. Ah, uh, one, th one more thing. We don't don't want to. Ah, I for forgot. We don't want to use the instant shape because we we will use the. This is important part uh, because we want to use the Jom instance. Uh, okay. Now let's create another dynamic set. Name it Jom. Uh, in this dynamic set we'll set vector mesh so it will update each frame shape jump instance so let's pick it guide 
one height selected. Okay, now we have uh, animated mesh. Uh, <coughs> now uh, we want to make the fragmentation part. So let's create a dynamic set. Uh, and uh, we'll use the base mesh and uh, we'll add an operator fragment fragment. So let's connect the particle to base mesh. Uh, to because we have elements that we need to break, we'll uh, set the smooth and distance to 180 degrees. Uh, you can read in the documentation. Also, we'll uh, uh, break the visible uh, edges only. Uh, motion inheritance uh, we can set it to 200 because uh, if you want to have some dynamics like when it's fragmenting it will uh, continue its motion or maybe more like so uh, let's delete the speed remove the speed lifespan set it to something bigger if you want them to be to exist for all the, your animation um, Exclude closed fragments. Uh, you can set here the material ID if you want to have multiple ma material ID for the inside part. But you need to connect the material, uh, your base material, base mesh material. You need to have a multi material with uh, these different types of shadings for the inner part and outer part. The remaining shape hole and let's check the element correction. Um, also we'll set the groups to fragments. So uh, for now uh, it's it will not do nothing because we need to or choose some methods of fragmentation. We can decrease uh, set the threshold or animate it to zero. So in this case it will uh, fragment from bottom to top or you can select the different option but uh, in this case we don't want to fragment them right away uh, to see the fragmentation part uh, let's uh, create a velocity operator and set it to added because we want to keep the motion inheritance uh, and uh, we'll add some uh, some random direction ok so we see now which is a fragment ok so uh, let's uh, we'll not use this option True fragment right away. We'll use a light to activate our, our fragments. So let's create a light, Omni light, like so. Um, in the intensity, color, and attenuation, we'll use the far attenuation, use and show and we'll decrease it so we can control we'll use it to activate our fragments so let's see let's go like this okay we want it to touch at frame 50 okay let's put it here so it will touch with his foot and we will start we'll start fragmenting okay like so now let's pick this uh, light let's set this uh, the fragment operation to use lights uh, pick light and we will pick this light F uh, now it will fragment will fragment only the fragments inside the lights inside the light range sorry 
uh, but you can use the spread settings to start um, to start spreading the fragmentation information around the mesh uh, mesh so the crack spreading will be the radius of, uh, of uh, affected radius that will uh, activate the fragments uh, also you have this gradient that's uh, how it will affect from black to white the more black it will this is how is uh, written in uh, documentation the more black the harder it will uh, uh, it will uh, propagate, but a normal thing will be to be the white, the activation one. Anyway, you can read the docu documentation, figure out yourself, uh, because uh, I don't use this feature. Okay, I'll set the cracking speed to 100, uh, 200, and the spinning time will be the time that she needs to fragment all to frag all the frag um, to fragment all the mesh. Okay, I'll, I'll it, uh, set it to one hundred. Let's see what you have now. Nothing happens. The fragments are too big. In my example, I used uh, smaller fragments. Okay, let's set this to something big just to see if something will happen. Okay, now it's working. Good. Um, okay, so now we have our basic uh, fragmentation. Let's render to see how it, how the mesh looks. So I'll use final render to render this with indirect illuminations. Skylight, physical sky, sunlight, show sky in environment. Okay, you can see that the mesh is looks very bad because we see now the fragments and the when the you we use jo uh, geometry instance, um, it will try to um, it uh, doesn't preserve the normals. Because volume breaker does a, gro a great job on on preserving the original normals, but after you use the ge geometry instance, you will get something like this. So uh, we uh, I uh, <coughs> I look at uh, at some f first uh, first watch came in mind is to use some kind of map to map the original mesh or something like this but uh, after that uh, I came up with idea to use uh, volume select and uh, delete mesh because it will work it might, might, might w w work good but uh, in the end it uh, worked really good uh, exa exactly what uh, I wanted to see and uh, I will show you how to make it so you'll have a clean mesh also if you set a material uh, not this material 
hide by name, animation guy. Okay, if we will set some some transparent material like final render glass. Okay, so uh, you didn't see what I did because it was out of screen. I used the pick uh, pick material from object and picked the that original mesh, and then uh, because it's multi mesh and uh, a multi sub object material, uh, I select the first one. If this is only for this object. On your, you will have a different material uh, and uh, I've ass assigned here the uh, final render glass material okay if we will look now okay, let's set a little fog like so you can see that we have problems because we see all the faces inside so let's start to make a cleaner mesh to do this uh, uh, what is the logic behind this we'll uh, use a measure uh, to to have this uh, group first group that is the original mesh fragmented uh, why you will use the measure because we want to have a push uh, modifier on top uh, because uh, uh, to, uh, to use the volume select we need to have a volume that is uh, that our vertex will be inside it but because now it's uh, on the same position it will not will get some artifacts like some vertex will be selected or not so um, Let's create a measure. Uh, first, we'll uh, tell thing particles to output the groups as, as objects because we want to use only the first group base mesh and not uh, the fragments, uh, the all the groups like base mesh and fragments. Now uh, we can see we have the object of the first group. So uh, now we'll create a measure uh, compound object measure like so uh, and we'll pick the group base mesh like so also we need to align it select the line and select the group 01 uh, base mesh not animated guy mm, not beep it ok let me use the pick object and select the base mesh x y and z like so Okay, uh, pivot, pivot, like so. Now we have the object in the same position. Okay, now we want to use a push modifier to push the vertices around the normal a little bit, like so. You see here we still have some geometry we can increase this but it will work because I'll show you one method uh, we'll get some artifacts and we'll use a method to to, to remove them or to not have them uh, also we need to duplicate the base mesh ok let's hide the bones Ok, so let's select the base mesh, uh, sorry, the base mesh not the particle, uh, thing particles group, but the mesh 
of uh, animation guy we'll do, uh, make a clone because we want to remove from the clone the volume breaker so we'll have a clean mesh the initial mesh so let's press ctrl v or edit duplicate set it as copy okay, rename it then uh, so, uh, it will be selected we will remove the volume breaker modifier and now we have just uh, the initial clean mesh ok so now we need to remove the parts uh, that uh, are fragmented to do this we will use the volume select we will set it to um, vertex uh, invert because we want to select the vertices which are outside outside our, our, uh, of our measure uh, measure because when, uh, after the fragmentation will occur uh, the measure will uh, will mesh or will calculate the remaining geometry so these vertices will be um, not uh, selected and those will be not okay so we want to invert the selection we don't want the vertices inside the mesh mask mesh so let's set it to mesh object and we'll pick the measure now you can see that we have some artifacts uh, some vertices are, are selected some are not this is because the algorithm that which, uh, uh, volume select uses and uh, because we have faces inside it uh, it should think that it's outside or inside incorrectly so there is a simple method to go around this problem is to use soft selection so let's check soft selection and we set the file of two one Okay, you can see that we don't have any selected vertices and all work, works like it should. Okay, so what is, uh, the, the, this is all. Now we just need to set what uh, will be rendered and what not. We want the animation guy, guy clean mesh to be uh, so we can see at the render. Uh, we don't want the measure so right click on properties remove red and double also I'll set it at box uh, because I don't want to see uh, to see the mesh here uh, after we don't uh, also we don't want the base mesh uh, the thingy particles group so uh, select it uh, and uncheck this and also display as box and I don't want the animation guy uh, which is fragmented so we'll uh, not use the uh, red and double options because it will affect the thing in particles but we'll hide we'll just hide it hide selection okay so now we have only the clean mesh uh, if you scroll now you'll see that after fragmentation it will have holes ok so if we have holes inside the mesh to, to fix this let's clean the selection by uh, put a mesh select modifier this will clean the selection from volume select then we want to cap the holes ok so now we'll have a fitted ok just l let me show you what I'm talking about ok you'll not see here because it's because of sh this shader mm. anyway it's where uh, I'm telling you uh, 
it's it should be a hole so it should if you'll not to use glass uh, even with glass sometimes you'll see the hole it's not be correct you s and you don't want this because <coughs> because uh, it will look fake you'll see the geometry it's it's uh, just a geometry not a real human <coughs> or real object so let's enable this and uh, okay I'll try to duplicate just maybe we'll see in the end the difference mm -hmm. Okay, not big difference here. Also, one uh, little problem with cap uh, holes is that uh, if the fragments will go s mm, like in a um, concave fashion, uh, the cup holes will uh, create a face which uh, you might not want it uh, so from this point to this so it will be like in the empty area to look a little bit like an artifact but uh, if it, is depend it depends on what you're gonna do uh, if you will fragment quickly you'll not see it in much uh, it depends and most of the time you want to cover holes so if it will it if it will be seen the fragmentation part the remaining mesh you don't want uh, the viewer to see the hole in the mesh okay uh, that's all you can s uh, let's make the render ah, also I wanted to talk about the uh, the collision let's add some dynamics uh, like a force show the fragments groups fragments operators dynamics force 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 also we need a helper standard point three helpers to set the direction negative z x axis like so we want the force to be like 100 like so uh, let's create a floor that will increase your simulation time uh, like so also I think is the inher inherent movement is too much I set it to it, like so okay now collision groups uh, okay uh, operators sh shape collision 
like so. We want want to add a floor node, like so. Okay. So with shape collision, you we will use the the, uh, the fragments as active group, which will be the dynamic in this shape collision. And deflectors will make a little trick uh, for the fragments to deflect on the base mesh. So we don't want to pass through the base mesh. We can increase here the settings, but okay. Okay, size is mass. Okay, let's see what we have now. Okay, let's play. Uh, I'll make a render. I'll pause the video to see. You'll see only the final render, so you'll not see all the uh, rendering process. I'll be back soon. Uh, sorry, one more, more thing. I for forgot to add the <laughs> add the lit mesh. Uh, so volume select. Yes. And let's add the delete mesh. Okay. We may want to add one more time the mesh select. Mesh select. Just to be sure that we will not select enough. We will not select anything. Okay. Okay, I'll be back after. Uh, I'll render one more time. Okay, so. Here is the rendering. The render. Um, also, I'll show. Uh, let's stop the render. And um, let's see what we have. This is it. Um, for the simulation, you may want to increase uh, the samples per seconds here, like so. Also, maybe the collision contact. Uh, settings and uh, okay uh, and uh, also you may want to to scale a little bit down the fragments so we they will not stack together uh, by using a standard scale operator like so let's say point uh, ninety five okay so this is all if you'll do some kind of animation test please let me know so I want to see uh, what you'll do and how it will look okay that's all thank you and goodbye